I grew up as a game ranger in Africa. I spent a lot of time, like you say, tracking lions, elephants, rhino. But really, to be quite honest with you, you can only show guests a rhino or an elephant so many times before you start looking for other things in nature. And there's 10,000 different species of birds. There's only five in the big five, elephant, rhino, leopard, lion, and buffalo. And we've got 10,000 different species of birds. So when I was in Africa and I'm sitting there at a lion sighting, I'm always listening for the other birds that are around, what's happening in the trees, trying to give people a much bigger perspective on nature than just the big cats. So people have been fascinated by birds since the earliest, earliest times. I mean, we've always been fascinated by flight. And then you add to birds. I mean, now we fly in airplanes and that kind of stuff, but we have to fabricate technology to be able to do that. Birds do it naturally. So I think the fascination of flight, but you combine that with the unique strategies that birds have for survival is absolutely fascinating. Birding Adventures is a unique show because we knew that if we were going to make a show specifically on birds, we were going to have a very, very narrow audience. So what we've tried to do with Birding Adventures is to make it a travel birding show. So we go around the world, we take you to meet indigenous cultures, different people, different foods, different tastes, smells, with birding being the thread throughout it. And then we always have a last segment of our show which is dedicated to one particular bird that is unique to that area, very difficult to find, very rare, or perhaps super interesting in some particular way.